pause, you'd simply go to our website and under the website, under fact, under logins, you can go to student login, click on pause. It's going to allow you to log into pause. And then once you are logged in under student services and financial aid, registration, and in the register drop classes will take you back into the screen that we've been looking at. The first step you would probably take as a student if you were coming into this area would be the prepare to register for registration screen. When you select prepare for registration, it's going to pull individual information about the student. And that student, based on the term, is going to be able to see are they able to go ahead and register for this term. Now, right now, I'm not currently a student but it does show what my primary curriculum would be. It also shows that my student status prevents registration, that I do not have any holds or any status that, that would prevent me, prevent me from doing as well, like probation or dismissal. If I were a student and I was set here, I could also see my time ticket and when that opened up once they're assigned. So I would encourage students first to go to this area and see, do they have any holds that are going to prevent them or when their time ticket opens up? So they'll actually be able to do registration when their time comes. 